Hey y'all, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I got a mystery box! The mystery box challenge, Captain's in the way, sorry. The mystery box challenge was to send 8 to 10 items to someone. And someone else would send me 8 to 10 items, I don't know who it is, and um, we have to use them in our DIY projects. That's the challenge. I've already kind of opened the box to make it easier for this unboxing portion of the video. But my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Okay, first thing that's falling out is this little zebra tin and inside is some ribbon. Oh, that's pretty. It's a nice pink like check ribbon and it has flowers on it so that's really cute. Yes, it's tool white tool. I've actually never really crafted with white tool before, or with tool in general really that I can think of. So I'll think of something. And this is an aloha sign. I thought it kind of looked like a bunny ear. So maybe I could make another and make a bunny ear. I don't know. I'll have to think of something. I'm not sure. Oh, this one is a little sloth. Oh, and it's a chalkboard too. I mean, I, th I think it kind of looks cute on its own, but I'll have to think of something to craft with that. I also have um, this little notepad. It says today, this week, this month. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one. Then these, what are these called? Lilac, white lilac. I always think of lilac as being like the purple color, but anyway, florals are easy, so thank you. And then another pick. These are, don't know what these are called, Calathea. So that's nice, that's a nice big leaf. That'll be easy to work with, I think. Ooh, this is actually kind of pretty. This is a scarf. Does it count if I like wear the scarf while I'm crafting? I really like the colors in this though. Oh, and then I also have this. It says heart big. It's just like a little hanging sign, but that's cute. I can, I can definitely use this. And then last but not least, this came out first, but I, I didn't open it, it's wrapped up. I don't know if this means I don't have to use it. I'll have to see if there's a card or anything. Aw, how sweet. She sent me some chocolate and some Jolly Rancher candy and a little card. And it says spring in the front. And inside, Captain wants to see. Lisa, I know you will create great things. It's a pleasure participating in this swap with you. Here is your, um, there's added extra treat for you to enjoy. So with love, Shawnee. Thank you, Shawnee. Yes, girl, um, I hope I can create some fun stuff too. <sighs> I'll have to get my, I don't, some of the things like, are like, oh, that'd be easy to turn into something else. But some of the things like, I'm just, I'm gonna have to get creative. Let's see what I make. Starting off with my first project, I'm taking my bowl that I tossed little supplies in and I'm using it as a guide to cut this sloth sign. I'm tracing out a circle. The ribbon that was in the box was so pretty. So I'm just taking a section of it and then fussy cutting out the little flowers. And when I say fussy cutting, I just mean detailed cutting. Back to the sloth sign. I didn't show you this, but I used my crafting knife to cut out where I traced the circle shape. And was it perfectly cut? Nope, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm just using my sanding block from Dollar Tree to smooth out the edges. I had already removed the sloth face and I found that when I paint over the paper that is on the sign, it usually bubbles up on me. So I just find it better to remove the paper. Now to do that, I take a fairly wet washcloth and I place it on the area that I'm working on and I let it set for a bit. I do a combination of scraping and rubbing it off and the more saturated the paper is, the easier it seems to come off. Now I've already taken the handles off this pail and I'm gonna paint this zebra pail white. The sloth sign circle is dry enough for me to paint it white as well. And I'm taking all of those little flowers that I cut out and I'm going to Mod Podge a row of them around the base of the pail. And then I'm going to take the rest of them and Mod Podge them all over the pail. 
Not really doing a set pattern or anything, just kind of freehanding it. Freeform, I don't know. Just kind of putting them wherever I feel like. If you haven't guessed, this is gonna be like a little riser, mini cake stand type situation. I tried putting glue on the pail and then putting the top on it, but it didn't stay. So I flipped it over, I put the pail as close to the center as I could, and then I just used hot glue, like lots of hot glue to attach them together. Y'all, I seriously had no idea what to do with the notepad, so I tore the pages into little pieces and I was gonna Mod Podge it on some plastic eggs and that wasn't working. It was just taking way too long to get done what I wanted to. And then I decided to Mod Podge it on the top of my cake stand. And this is how it turned out, y'all. I love it. Now the top is not food safe, so I won't place anything like that directly on it, but it sure turned out cute. This scarf, y'all, I had zero idea of what to do with it. I kept going back and forth on what to make and I finally decided on washcloth bunnies, but instead using a scarf. Now, just being upfront, these did not turn out, even with Captain's help, I couldn't make this work. I'll explain what I tried to do though. So I cut the scarf into a square shape, I folded it in half to make a triangle, and then I rolled it in as I had seen on the washcloth bunny tutorials that I had watched. You then fold it in half, and then kind of in half again, and put a rubber band on it. Anyway, this is how it turned out. You can kind of say it looks like a bunny with the ears on top, but the blob at the bottom, I don't know. <laughs> This video is part of an Easter mystery box challenge. Tammy from Happiness Created is the host and her channel is linked below. Thank you so much, Tammy, for including me. Check out her channel as she creates some really awesome DIYs. And of course, this video is part of a playlist and that's linked below as well. We all gathered eight to 10 items and sent a box to someone and someone else sent us a box. And my box went to Robin from Stitching Witch. So check out the playlist so you can see what she got and what everyone else got and what everyone else made. Now on to the Aloha sign. At first, I thought this looked like a bunny ear, so I thought I could make like another one out of cardboard or something, or maybe cut it in half and make two ears, you know? Then I talked to my triplets. Hey, Anna, Sarah, and Catherine, if you're watching, and why wouldn't you be watching your mama's videos? Anyway, they suggested that I cut off the top and make it into a carrot, and I thought that was genius. So I'm just sanding down the edge where I cut it off. I filled in the hole where the hanger was with some Dollar Tree spackle. And then for some reason I painted it white. I don't know what I was thinking. Then I took that little cloud sign that came in the box and I removed the hanger and the little tassel thing. And I don't know how those were attached, but it did not want to come off. I also used my heat gun to remove the sticker from the back and I painted it white. Okay, now back to the base of the carrot. The white paint that I didn't need to paint was dry, so then I could paint it orange. And y'all, carrots don't have to be orange. I could have painted this really any color. I mean, I think there are purple carrots out there, aren't there? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Next, I am taking a little bit lighter shade of orange and a little darker shade of orange, and I'm adding some random stripes across the carrot. I'm just trying to add some dimension because, you know, carrots aren't smooth. And then I take my black paint pen and I kind of outline the carrot for no real reason other than I just thought it looked cuter that way. So I took these little, these big green leafy things and I cut them off because they're gonna become my carrot stem. 
All right, for the next part, I took a large craft or popsicle stick and I traced it to the shape of the sign. I cut that out and then you could do that with scissors, but just don't use your good scissors. And then I hot glued the leaves to that stick. Then I flipped the sign over and I glued that to the back of the sign. And I really try to finish out my projects, so I'm taking some brown craft paper that I got from Dollar Tree and I'll trace out the shape and then cut it out and hot glue it down. I'm still trying to get the last bits of that hanger and tassel off this little cloud sign, but I wanted to show y'all, you don't always have to have a Cricut to make cute things. I'm just lightly penciling on the words um, fresh carrots and then going back with a black paint pen to kind of go over those letters. And I don't have the neatest handwriting either y'all, so. I was counting up the items from the box and realized I was missing an element. It was those white lilacs. So I was just going to put them with my fresh carrot sign, but instead I just used the leaves to fill in the carrot stem. I took the leaves off and just hot glued them in. I wrapped some tools several times around the top and then messed with the bow until I liked how it looked. And then I hot glued my fresh carrot sign down. This turned out so good. I really love it y'all. I had so much fun with today's projects. I hope you enjoyed them too. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment because it helps YouTube to share my content with more people when you do. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye!